So, got yourself a brand new condenser microphone. Wanting to know how to set it up. No problem. That's what I'm here for. This is going to be the simple setup of a condenser microphone. Let's get started. This is the BM800. This is the one that I got. It's a simple condenser microphone that you can get on Amazon, eBay, wherever. Comes in a variety of different manufacturers. This one's XL Van. Uh, works pretty good in my opinion. So if you're looking for that, um, you can go on our website, link for Amazon. Uh, AHITalk.com will take you directly to it. So what you get with this package is a uh, shock mount microphone and either a XLR to USB or 3.5 millimeter. You will also need a phantom power supply. This is a Nady SMPS 1X condenser microphone power supply. You can get this for like 20 bucks on Amazon. Uh, unfortunately, there is no way around this. Uh, the only way around it is if you have a device already that can provide 48 volt phantom power. Mixers sometimes have them. There's other devices that could can hook to the computer via USB cable that can provide it. Um, USB alone cannot provide the power for this microphone because it runs on 12 volts. You need 48. So you need you need this or something that will provide that 48 volts. In addition to the phantom power supply, you will also need an XLR to XLR cable, male to female. How to set it up? Very simple. You plug in your phantom power supply to the wall. It has an output and a mic in. You're going to hook the XLR cable. One end goes into the microphone. The other end of the XLR cable goes into the mic in, like that. You will take the cord that your microphone came with and plug it into the mic output. You will then take either the 3.5 millimeter or USB cable and plug this end into the audio port or USB of your recording device, usually computer. You will then open up your audio recording program, turn on the phantom power supply, and start recording. That is, that is it. That is as simple as it gets. Now, how I personally do it is a little bit different, but I have the resources to do it it's not really that expensive but it can it does cost a little bit of money in my opinion it is the better route to go i've had my computer be recording and then all of a sudden it shuts down for whatever reason and i lose the audio recording so uh in order to have a better option for you there is a device I use my Zoom H4n. This thing costs anywhere between two to four hundred dollars. Uh, it is a bit expensive, but if you're getting into this professionally, you can't go wrong. I think the Zoom H6n is out now. I'm not sure, but this is the older model. Works just fine though if you can pick one up. Uh, on the bottom of this device are two XLR ports. You can connect one or two microphones to it. Simplest thing, take the XLR cable that comes out of the microphone, plug it into the one, number one port on the recording device, on the Zoom H4n, or whatever, the uh, Tascam also makes one of these and use this to record instead of a computer. It has a better audio signal, in my opinion. 
no buzz that I've been able to find. It just, uh, as Apple says, <laughs> it just works. Uh, that's the setup that I use for my podcasting. Works great. Honestly, this is the best option that I've found. Um, I've tried other options. I've tried Blue Microphone. These are excellent, excellent microphones. Don't get me wrong. Okay, It's just that, that one shutdown problem sort of tainted it for me. Uh, but then again, always have a backup audio source recording if you're doing anything really important. I also have a Yeti mic over there. Um, if you're going to do... If you, if you want headphones, I, I would go with the Yeti. It has an onboard sound card that does that for you, and it, it does it in real time. Just makes it better. I hope this video helped you. If you have any more questions, leave them down in the comments below, and I'll try to answer them there. Or uh, if I get enough questions, I'll make a video on whatever topic is... is uh, most asked. Please like this video, share this video, definitely subscribe to this channel. We are almost at a thousand subscribers, which I am very proud of. Uh, thank you. And uh, I will see you next time. Hope you have a great day. God bless.